lot of different things that happen in this time of the year. There's a lot of things that, you know, Christmas trees are being put up, candles are being put up. Um, you know, there's a lot of things, home heating devices, there's a lot of things that are, that are happening this time of the year that really cause a concern for fire safety. According to the U.S. Fire Administration, an estimated 250 home fires involving Christmas trees and another 170 home fires involving holiday lights and other decorative lighting occur each year. Together, these fires resulted in 21 deaths and 43 injuries nationwide. Fires that Johnson adds can be avoided. I want to urge folks to be very careful. I guess our, our biggest concern is making sure that the items that folks purchase, um, they purchase UL listed components. Johnson says that along with holiday lights and other elaborate decorations, make sure that you don't overlook the most important tool in keeping your home safe during the holiday season. We want to make sure every home is equipped with smoke alarms. Um, so there are a lot of fire departments in Wake County that have free smoke alarms at their, um, at their disposal and they're able to install those um, if, if these folks, the residents, will contact them. So we want to make sure folks, even if you're not able to have a sprinkler system, you can have functioning smoke alarms in the home. Because that is your first line of defense in the event of a fire because those smoke alarms are going to be what detects the presence of smoke and that gives you your earliest warning. When you look at fire safety in general, um, most things that cause problems uh, and, and cause fires are things that are left unattended. If, if they're not going to be at home, make sure you unplug the lights, uh, make sure you pull it out of the receptacle from the wall, make sure it is unplugged. Just do a visual inspection and then plug it up, make sure it works properly, um, and then Probably the biggest item is when it's installed or when they put it up, put these decorations up, make sure they do it where they maintain a safe distance away from combustible materials. Follow manufacturer's instructions and that's going to go hand in hand with that UL listing that's going to be on the, the product. Whether it be cooking, whether it be candles in use throughout the home, whether it be electrical appliances that are plugged up. So any of these heat producing appliances um, we would encourage folks to, to make sure if they're using these items that they're present. If you have four plugs, then use four items plugged into it. Don't try to overload these circuits. If the lights are flickering on and off, that's a good indication that there may be an overload. If you have breakers that are tripping in your electrical panels, that's a good indication that you've overloaded it. The newer homes are equipped with the ground fault circuit interrupters and those if those pop and a portion of a circuit is disconnected that's another good indication that may be too much plugged into it. The smell of smoke could be another indication or visible smoke. Using common sense this holiday season will make it a safe one. Some of the key points to remember is for holiday decorations to make sure you follow manufacturer's recommendations you use it in a safe manner if it involves open flame or or any open fire that someone is there attending it at all times. And should something happen, and again, that's why we rely on automatic sprinklers and, and smoke alarms to give us that early detection. If something should happen, we want to encourage families to have escape plans. Uh, if you follow manufacturer's recommendations and you control the use of open flames, during the holidays, then it should be a safe environment for you and your family. My direct number is 856-5519, and I'll be happy to coordinate any request that we get for any information or direct folks to an appropriate website where home fire safety tips are provided.